Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of One Minute Games. Let's do some flying today. Like and subscribe and stick to the end for the bonus project. As before, let's use a cube of dimension 20 by 20. Airplane first needs a body. Duplicate it and stretch it to also add a wing and a tail. Add a final copy with a glass color for a cabin where the pilot sits. Rotating propeller can be visualized with a transparent cylinder. After creating a script file, we are ready to code. Let's start with a simple forward movement. Increase position in the forward direction multiplied by fly speed. At the end, multiply by the delta time to compensate for frame drops. We can see the airplane move forward in any direction it is looking at. Let's control the direction by the left and right arrow keyboard keys. Airplanes can rotate in three dimensions. Yaw, pitch and roll. Which corresponds to the X, Y and Z axes in Unity. First, let's get the inputs from the keyboard called horizontal, meaning left and right. We can create a yaw variable and increase or decrease it with either positive or negative input value. Multiplying with yaw amount variable, we can control the speed of turning. To steer left and right, we need to rotate around the yaw axis or up vector. Steering should now work as expected. Next, we want to go up and down. We can do that by rotating around the pitch, horizontal or X axis. For this we can use up and down arrow keys. Pitch angle is between 0 and 20 degrees, depending on if the key is pressed or not. At the end, multiply it by the sign of the input to get an up or down angle. Add rotation around the pitch axis for the right vector multiplied by the pitch angle. We can now move like a real airplane, left, right and up and down. But we can also add roll rotation for additional realism. The last is the rotation around the roll, forward or z-axis. Roll angle is calculated in the same way as pitch, but using horizontal input. Also invert the sign. Add rotation around the roll axis or forward vector multiplied by the roll angle. We now have a finished flying movement of an airplane, moving sideways, going up and down and rolling convincingly. We can see abrupt changes if quickly pressing the opposite key like left and right. Let's fix it in the last step. In the project settings we can find the input manager. Here are the settings for the inputs we call in the code. If we uncheck the snap option here, the abrupt changes are gone. The last key press won't override the value, but it will slowly transition to it. Here we can also change this transition speed by sensitivity and gravity options. Good job, we're done! Flying is not that much harder than driving a car, in a virtual world at least. For more practice, you can add gates to pass through and count score, targets on the floor and drop packets on them, or spawn particles when wings are touching the water. Combine the flying movement with the snake from the first episode and you can make this magnificent Chinese dragon. You can also support me on Patreon, where you can find all of the projects. Like and subscribe to get more videos. Thank you and see you next time. Thank you.